Here in Washington, the fate of a multi-billion dollar settlement for victims of the opioid epidemic hangs in the balance. The Supreme Court heard arguments this morning over whether the Sackler family, the former owners of Purdue Pharma, should get immunity from future lawsuits. CBS's Jan Crawford reports on a case that some are calling billionaire justice. We want justice. We want the Sacklers in jail, but we want their money. Cheryl Juer lost two sons to opioids and holds Purdue Pharma, the manufacturer of OxyContin, and its former owners, the Sackler family, responsible. She and most other victims' families are urging the Supreme Court to approve a 2021 multi-billion dollar bankruptcy plan that will provide up to $6 billion for treatment and programs to combat the opioid crisis, including $750 million to victims and their families. And I do believe that was the best deal. But that deal has a catch. It would shield the Sackler family from lawsuits, even though they are not bankrupt themselves. And that has divided families who share a tragic bond. They need to be held accountable. Ellen Isaacs, whose son died of an overdose, says the deal lets the Sacklers off the hook. Give me the ability to get a jury by trial of my peers. Closing that door, it's not going to help anybody with healing. Isaacs, along with the Justice Department, is urging the Supreme Court to reject the plan. And in arguments today, the justices struggled. Some were concerned rejecting the deal would leave many families with nothing. The opioid victims and their families overwhelmingly approve this plan uh, because they think it will ensure prompt payment. But other justices pointed out the Sacklers also would benefit and only agree to the plan because it protects them from lawsuits. The Sacklers have taken the money and are not willing to give it back unless they have this condition. Now, the outcome of this case could also have huge implications for how corporations use bankruptcy to try to protect owners from lawsuits. And that's why you're seeing other organizations like the Boy Scouts and the Catholic Church filing papers in support of this agreement. A decision is expected by June. Nora? Such an important case. Jan Crawford, thank you.